Good morning, and welcome to morning prayer today on October 4th, Tuesday morning. I'm very grateful to be with you all today. Um, we're continuing to pray for um, our friends and family down in Southwest Florida. Um, obviously, at Forum this Sunday, we had an opportunity to talk about um, many ways that we can get involved. Um, if you check out our website, um, there are more ways for us to get involved, so please check that out if you're looking to support those in need there. Um, yeah, we'll continue to be in prayer for them. And as Hurricane Ian is making landfall in South Carolina and, um, yeah, just in many places, um, may we be in prayer for those in need. Um, we hope and pray that you've had a wonderful week. Uh, before we get started with morning prayer, I want us to take a moment of silence to center ourselves for this moment. Send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. We're on page 79 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let us start with the confession of sin. Let us conf confess our sins against God and our neighbor together. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you and forgive you all your sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. All right, we morning prayer continues on page 80 in the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise, saying together, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We will be reciting the jubilate. Um, it's on the bottom of page 82 in the Book of Common Prayer. If um, I will read up until the asterisk alone, and then we will all respond together. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. All right, our first reading today comes from Psalm 124. Um, if you're following along, it's in the NRSV. Um, after that, you'll see there on page 84, um, that we will be reciting something together. If it had not been the Lord who is on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who is on our side, when our enemies attacked us, then they would have swallowed us all up alive. When their anger was kindled against us, then the flood would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us, then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us his prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel reading for today comes from Luke 7, verses 1 through 17. Um, Again, NRSV, um, and then you will see the response there at the end. After Jesus had finished all his sayings in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum. 
a, cent, a centurion there had a slave whom he valued highly and who was ill and close to death. When he heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to him, asking him to come and heal his slave. When they came to Jesus, they appealed to him earnestly, saying, He is worthy of having you do this for him, for he loves our people, and it is he who built our synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them, but, he was not, but when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. Therefore, I did not presume to come to you, but only speak the word and let my servant be healed. For I, am all, I, am all, I also am a man set under authority, with soldiers under me, and I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and the slave does it. When, the, when Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning to the crowd that followed him, he said, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When those who had been, those who had been sent returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. Soon afterwards, he went to a town called Nine, and his disciples and a large crowd went with him. As he approached the gate of the town, a man who had died was being carried out. He was his mother's only son, and she was a widow. And with her was a large crowd from the town. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion for her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came forward and touched the bier, and the bearers stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized all of them, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God has looked favorably on his people. Therefore... This, sorry, this word about him spread throughout Judea and the surrounding country. I can only imagine the stories that were told and what our modern responses would be to these, some, of these, um, some of these stories. Um, yeah, it's, it's incredible to think of the wonders Jesus performed and the, the message of Christ throughout the world and to think about what it would look like for us to respond. Um, we will continue with the Song of the Lamb. Um, it is number 18. Um, I will read again up until the asterisk, and we will respond together. Um, page 93 at the bottom, it does go on to the next page. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will... They were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation. A kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne. And to Christ the Lamb. Be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. If you would join me on page 96 um, in affirming our faith and reciting the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right.
for the prayers, we will do suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of tr justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity, and in all we do, direct us the fulfilling of your purposes through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, the third prayer of mission, top of 101. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within your, the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. It's at this time I want us to take um, a few moments to pray silently um, over any inter intercessions in um, our church um, of people you know of those hurting in Southwest Florida and throughout the world um, and any Thanksgivings we have to offer as well. Um, let's take this moment together. The Lord be with you, and also with you. We'll continue with the general thanksgiving on the bottom of page 101. Saying together, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you've made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, this Tuesday morning. Um, if you have any prayer requests or needs, please put them in the comments of this YouTube video. Um, I, we hope and pray that you're doing well. Again, feel free to come talk to me at any time. Um, I'd love to get to know you. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.